Welcome back. I'm Olivia Felias from Being a Tech Home. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some DIY Christmas decor crafts. This is another episode in my huge I Love Christmas series. I love to share with you guys how you can make your homes and yourself boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe you don't have to break the bank to have an amazing, fabulous home and life. So listen, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, I want to invite you guys to my live Facebook. That's going to be November 17th, 2023 at 6 p.m. We're going to do a fun little Friendsgiving in that Central Standard Time. I'm going to be having some giveaways and share with you guys some of my favorite um, holiday fashion picks from my favorite boutique gorgeous brand, Cupshe. And thank you also to Cupshe for sending me some amazing holidays holiday items to share with you guys and we're gonna have giveaways so don't miss out set your calendar 11 17 23 at 6 p.m central standard time okay you guys subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on live instrument to come to facebook tiktok and instagram and without further ado let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting Let's create a super adorable snowman centerpiece using Dollar Tree Supply. So from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed one of the little white mini Christmas trees. I'm simply fluffing it out really good to make it look as full as possible. Then I'm going to hot glue it on each little prong and pop it onto this little Dollar Tree pizza pan. I then found one of these super cute little snowman nutcrackers in the Dollar Tree Plus section. So I hot glued that to the centerpiece as well. Then I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and some of the little Dollar Tree fake snow, and I'm gonna add that in and around the edge of the pizza pan to kind of cover up the look of it being a pizza pan. I wanted to give it kind of like a snowy effect. So once I had added the Mod Podge and all of the fake snow, I simply hot glued the little white Christmas tree back into its place. Then I'm gonna take a roll of Dollar Tree Deco mesh and some of these little mini zip ties, and I'm gonna zip tie the mesh in and around the base of the branches and just kind of create little poofs as I go along. I just wanna fill out the Christmas tree just a little bit to kind of give it some zhuzh and pizzazz. And I'm just gonna go in and along the branches, creating about six to eight inch poofs and just fill it out. And I used almost an entire roll of mesh to do this. You guys can also just cut your mesh in about six inch pieces and zip tie them on um, that way, but just you just really wanna add some mesh to kind of zhuzh it out. Or if you like more of a sparse look on your Christmas tree, you can leave this step out. It is completely up to you. I didn't buy any new supplies to create this, so I'm just kind of use, using what I have on hand. Um, I wish I would have had more white ornaments um, to create this little mini Christmas tree, but sometimes I also think it's fun to kind of just get creative and use what you have on hand in your craft stash, because if you're like me and you're a crafter, you probably have a lot of um, crafting stuff in your craft stash. So once I got to the top, I zip tied that, and then I'm taking some of this little white ribbon. This was left over from last year's Glam White Christmas Tree. I wanted to use a Dollar Tree feather, um, the little mop feather duster things, but I didn't have that either. So I just grabbed what, whatever I had that was white and then added that to cover up um, the base of my Christmas tree to kind of give it like a, a feeling of a tree skirt. I did have some red ornaments on hand and because the little snowman had red on him, I thought that would be cute to give it a little bit of color. So I'm just hot gluing about four to five ornaments and they're kind of medium to mid-sized ornaments in and around the tree. I didn't have any mini ornaments, but again, I'm just using what I have have on hand um, and then I'm using some of these cute little Dollar Tree Buffalo check plaid bows and I just hot glued about four or five of those in and around the edges and then I'm taking this Dollar Tree candy cane ribbon because my snowman had candy cane kind of a candy cane scarf and I'm just hot gluing that in and around um, the tree kind of like circling it and then I had some cute little peppermint uh, little um, pieces and so I hot glued those to the top and then in and around the tree and then I also hot glued one of the little Dollar Tree joy signs to the very top of the tree. So really just grab whatever you have on hand that matches whatever um, your character is. So Dollar Tree carries all different kinds of nutcrackers. They have blue ones, they have snowmen, they just and they carry mini ones and then they have the larger ones in the Dollar Tree Plus section. I'm taking this ribbon and I looped it over on itself twice and then making a little topper for it. And I'm also just um, creating some little bows by tying a shoelace bow. 
um, and go back and watch my bow video. I'll link it in the YouTube video. And then here is how that turned out. So I had this cute little sign that said hot cocoa and marshmallows. And I added that to the edge because I just thought that would be super cute. And then I popped in that little mini um, gingerbread nutcracker house that I got at Hobby Lobby. And here is the finished product. I think it looks so adorable, fun and fabulous, very budget friendly. And I have a special friend in mind that I'm gonna give this to to brighten up their day. And I hope you guys love it and happy crafting. Let me share with you guys this super amazing designer hack using ornaments and floral wire. So you're gonna take a piece of floral wire and you're gonna thread the ornament through the floral wire. And then I just take and kind of twist it right here and what we want to create is an ornament bundle and this is such an easy hack and ornament you know um, bundles and garlands are super expensive so these are just ornaments from Hobby Lobby and I'm simply going to take them and just thread them on to the piece of floral wire and I want to kind of mix them up so I have several different finishes I have shiny sparkly and the matte finish. And I actually have several different sizes too. So you're just gonna continue to add your ornaments until you start to run out of floral wire and that's gonna create a super fun little bundle that you guys can easily add to Christmas garlands, wreaths, trees, um, and just continue again to thread them through until you are satisfied with the amount that you have on there. But look at how easy that is. Look at how cute that is gonna be added into my Christmas tree or garland. And you guys can even create a waterfall of Christmas ornaments, which I know is a super popular trend right now in decorating for the holidays is creating that ornament waterfall. It's so easy, you guys. You just keep working with your ornaments and I'm just layering different textures and sizes to get this effect. So here is an idea of how it would look if it was on your Christmas tree. This is on my Christmas tree. Now I do a very full look. So I have, you know, different picks and berries and ornaments and ribbons in mine. Um, but I think it looks really beautiful. I think it would be a great idea also for a mantle garland or an extra little side Christmas tree, which I am going to be decorating the rest of my living room this week. I'm really hoping I get to it. There's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. You can tell he's thinking, which ball should I get? That little green ball. If you guys are new, it's his absolute favorite ball in the whole entire world. And he can always find that ball no matter what. It's the funniest thing. I don't know how he finds it, but he'll be barking and it's so I'll go get his green ball. It's so hilarious. Let's create a super adorable centerpiece using Dollar Tree supplies. So from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed one of their pizza pans and then from the Dollar Tree Plus section, I have this cute little Santa. I have this um, Dollar Tree glass jar left over from fall decorating. I just popped some fairy lights inside of it and then I just had these greenery pieces. So I'm, I'm hot gluing a greenery piece to each side and then one kind of coming out the front part of the jar. And then I had this little Dollar Tree trim and it's a little Dollar Tree pom-poms. So I thought I would hot glue that around the edge just to give my um, centerpiece kind of some movement. It's gonna make it look pretty crafty. So if you don't like that look, you guys could always spray paint the pizza pan, leave it as is or add Mod Podge and some fake snow to it. It really depends on what you're in the mood for. For this one, because my Santa Claus is kind of cute and crafty looking, in my opinion, um, kind of like a country little Buffalo check farmhouse Santa, I thought the crafty look would be adorable. Um, but you guys, to each his own, you can always change up any of my ideas to suit your style. So I just hot 
glued that little pom-pom trim all the way around my pizza pan to give it some pizzazz. You guys know I love a bit of pizzazz. And then I'm gonna trim that off. Here's how that looks. The next thing I wanna do is add in these cute little Dollar Tree fabric Christmas trees and then one more um, to the back to kind of fill things out. So it makes it look cute on all sides. And then here's my cute little Santa guy. He keeps getting fake snow on his boots, which drives me crazy. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add in some cute little silver ornaments. I did not hot glue these ornaments because I wasn't for sure how I felt about it. I'm gonna take this cute little buffalo check, or gingham ribbon, excuse me, um, ribbon, and I just looped it over on itself to create this super easy little bow. You guys have seen me do this bow a million times. I zip tied it in the center, and then I wanted to hot glue it kind of to the edge of Mr. Santa Guy, and also to secure that one little piece of garland that I kind of had hanging off the jar. I did not hot glue Mr. Santa Guy to the top of the jar because those fairy lights will probably need a battery change. And the next thing I wanted to do is take this little Dollar Tree peace sign. This is just one of those galvanized letters that comes in the three pack with joy, love, and peace. And I wanted to hot glue the peace sign into his hands because I really feel like we need more peace in our world. We need peace in our relationships, we need peace in our hearts, and we need peace in our world. So anyway, I did a peace prayer for you guys in one of my last videos. Okay, I hope you guys are loving Mr. Peace Santa and that you're inspired to create something fun for your table or a friend or a loved one. Now here's a quick little quote or prayer and it says, may peace be your companion and love be your guide. May joy be your compass with grace by your side. And that is by Mary Davies. And so I hope you guys are sharing peace, love, and joy, and please be kind to one another. It is so important and I love y'all so, so much. Feel how to create a super adorable Dollar Tree mini Christmas tree. So from the Dollar Tree, you're gonna grab a jar and then some styrofoam and I cut my styrofoam down to the size of the jar. Then you grab one of those mini Christmas trees and you're gonna fluffy it out really well. Touch every branch and really get it fluffied out. Then I grabbed some deco mesh and I'm just gonna take in, loop it over on itself, trim it off, and then with a little zip tie, I'm just going to zip tie that in to the base of the tree. And I'm gonna use about three to four around the base and then two to three as I work my way up. And you just create little loops with your deco mesh. It's super easy you guys could use even the curl method whatever method you guys like you just really need to fluffy out your christmas tree you're going to use one roll of deco mesh for this part of the project i went all the way to the top and then i want to add my cute little ornament dollar tree has these merry christmas ornaments they're so adorable and i thought it would be super cute with this little deer snowman which i cut off the base and then just attached it with the little branches i'm going to take this dollar tree ribbon and check out this new ribbon wow i love it i looped it over on itself then i'm going to to trim it off, pinch it in the center, and then zip tie it. And then I'm going to add that as my tree topper. You want to fluffy out those bows, and you want when you make the bow, you just loop it over on itself about four times or two times, however big you want your bow, or create whatever bow you love. I'm going to take the remaining rest of the excess ribbon and just tie that um, little bow onto the top. That way we don't see that ugly zip tie. This is also going to create our little um, kind of tails that are going to cascade down our Christmas tree. I just took the evergreen branches and looped the ribbon over on the evergreen branches and made a nice little dovetail on the end and boom. Now I want to really zhuzh it up. This step is of course totally extra, but I had a bunch of little Dollar Tree ornaments in my craft stash, so I'm adding in some ornaments. You might hear my little puppy dog Beachy Bear in the background. Um, and I'm just hot gluing them in and around the spots where there are evergreen branches. Now that I've added some ornaments and pine cones, I want to add in some of this Dollar Tree Deco Mesh tubing. So I just take it, double it up, and tie a shoelace bow. A shoelace bow is just a bow that you would tie like you were tying your shoes. I took another little stray piece of tubing to just attach that to the tree, or you can just take the evergreen branches and loop it over on itself, or use a little bit of hot glue, but the hot glue tends to uh, melt the tubing, although I did use that on the topper. I continue to use more of the deco mesh tubing because that really is going to give my tree some movement and some flair and some fun. 
Now I'm taking one more roll of the Dollar Tree Deco mesh. I made another loopy bow, so you just take your ribbon, loop it over on itself four times, and zip tie it in the center. Then I'm gonna add in the tails and cascade that down the back of my tree. So this could be, you know, you could leave it empty, but you probably wanna go ahead and fill it out because you can see it through to the front a little bit. So add in some ornaments, more stray pine cones, whatever you have kind of in your craft stash. Then I'm taking a spare piece of fabric, grab this at Hobby Lobby. It's just in the checkerboard pattern. I wanted to pull in a little bit of the black and white, and then I just wrapped the base of my tree, hot glued it around the top edge, and then added a piece of tubing around the top part there just to kind of keep it on there. Here is how my super adorable mini Christmas tree turned out. I feel like these would be so great for offices or table toppers, or I'm even about thinking about giving these um, to some elderly folks that I know that aren't gonna put up a, a big Christmas tree, but definitely wanna have some holiday cheer. I know some of you guys love these type of trees, really change up you know, the theme and the ribbon to match your decor. This is such a great, fun, inexpensive, easy way. So here is my little puppy dog, Benji Bear. He is ready to go for his walk. He had a great time at baby Theo and baby Archie's birthday party, which is my son and um, his girlfriend's puppy dogs. And I'll insert a quick little pic of that. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia Flavius Romantic Home and I'm a DIY crafty mama. I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget and even yourselves boutique gorgeous on a budget. I shared with you guys on my Instagram and Facebook stories this cute little sweater. It's from Kepshi. I believe it's $31 and you guys can take 15% off with my coupon code Olivia Home. 15 if you guys spend $65 or more. So check that out. I'll leave that in the description box. I'm also hosting um, a David Christopher's giveaway for you guys. Um, winner's going to be announced at the end of November. It's going to be two $50 gift cards and I have them linked in this description box as well. They're an amazing Christmas decor company and the most beautiful um, faith couple um, and just absolutely wonderful. So I'm just so blessed and honored to work with them and um, so I hope that that brings you guys some joy, gives you guys some look forward to. Also, hey, don't forget to join me on my Facebook Live. That is going to be November 17th, Friday um, at 6 p.m. That's 2023 um, Central Standard Time. So 11, 17, 23, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to do a Facebook Live. I'm going to have my son's girlfriend, Skylar, on and we're going to taste test some fun holiday drinks and um, I'm going to share with you guys my fun holiday fashion picks and I'll do some giveaways. So I'm super excited for that. So anyway, join me for that one. And I love y'all. And until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another, and talk to you guys very soon. Bye.